Hello and welcome to lesson 11 on lower key stage 2 fractions. My name is Mr B and I'm going to be your teacher today. Last lesson you learned about equal parts of a whole. Today we'll learn a whole can be divided into any amount of equal parts. Last lesson we ended with this practice activity. How did you get on? Remember, if we look at the part, we can know what the whole could look like if we know the amount of equal parts there are. We also spoke about how your whole may look different, but as long as there are the same amount of parts, they are equal. It would be correct. So let's see how you got on. So in today's lesson, we're going to look at having the same whole and splitting that whole into lots of different equal parts. For today's lesson, you're going to need to use the language part, whole, equal parts. It might be useful to get a pencil and paper because we might be representing and drawing our mathematics later. All right, let's get started. Here are four shapes. Each shape is a whole, and each one is 2D and has six sides. We call these hexagons. But what do you notice about the shapes? What's the same and what's different? Now would be a good time to pause the video and to tell somebody close by. I wonder if you found that while the whole stays the same, the number of equal parts is different. This time we're going to break each of those shapes down into smaller steps. Some of the equal parts will be shaded. Now remember, each shape is the whole. I wonder if you can see how many parts are shaded in each of the whole shapes. Have a look at the stem sentence at the top of this page. See if you can read it after me. If the hexagon is the whole, then the shaded part is one part of the whole. The whole has been divided into two equal parts. Pause the video now and you can have a try of, state, of saying the stem sentence. OK, for this one, have you noticed how the whole has stayed the same, but the amount of equal parts we have are different. We have one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts. Part of the whole is shaded. I'm going to read the stem sentence and then after the video, I would like you to pause and see if you can try and read the stem sentence out yourself. If the hexagon is the whole, then the shaded part is one part of the whole. The whole has been divided into six equal parts. For this one, have you noticed how the whole is the same, but the number of equal parts is different? This time, let's try and read the stem sentence together. If the hexagon is the whole, then the shaded part is one part of the whole. The whole has been divided into three equal parts. This time you might want to pause the video, have a go at reading the stem sentence yourself and then replay the video and we'll see how you got on. So let's give it a go. If the hexagon is the whole, then the shaded part is one part of the whole. 
the whole is being divided into 12 equal parts. This time, we have a bit of a different shape. Now, be careful. Some people think that this is a circle, but there's a missing part of where the complete circle would be. So this is going to be our whole shape. And can you see how many equal parts we have in our whole shape? Did you find three equal parts? If you did, well done. So if this shape is the whole, then the shaded part is one part of the whole. The whole has been divided into three equal parts. I wonder if you could pause the video now and have a try of saying that stem sentence yourself. If this shape is the whole, then the shaded part is one part of the whole. The whole has been divided into two equal parts. Pause the video now and try and say the, sem the stem sentence to yourself. All right, you're getting the hang of this now. This time, let's try it a little differently. I would like you to try and read the stem sentence out first yourself. Pause the video and then we'll try and read through the stem sentence together afterwards and we'll be able to see how you got on. There's the part. Pause the video now. Good luck. Did you say if the shape is the whole, then the shaded part is one part of the whole. The whole has been divided into six equal parts. If you did, very well done indeed. So there are our three different holes that we had. And although the hole is the same for each shape, the number of equal parts has been divided differently. This time, we're going to continue to look at how holes can have any amount of equal parts in them. But this time, we're going to look at a line. Now, how many equal parts can you see on my line? Pause the video now and count with your finger on the screen how many parts you can see. Did you find four equal parts? We've got one equal part, another equal part, one more equal part, and another equal part. So we've got one, two, three, four equal parts altogether. I'm going to highlight one of those parts. If the line is the whole, then this is part of the whole. The whole has been divided into four equal parts. Now it's your turn, pause the video and try and say the stem sentence to yourself. This time we have a line. It is the same whole, but there are a different amount of equal parts. How many equal parts can you see? Let's count. One equal part, one more equal part, and another equal part. There are three equal parts in the line. This time I'm going to highlight one of those equal parts. If this line is the whole, then this is part of the whole. The whole has been divided into three equal parts. This time on the line, it is the same whole as the last, we, last one we looked at, but this time we have got how many different equal parts. One equal part, another equal part, 
three equal parts, four equal parts, five equal parts, and six equal parts. I'm going to highlight one of those parts. I wonder if you can pause the video now and try and say the stem sentence to yourself. When you press play, you'll be able to hear me say the stem sentence. Maybe you can try and say it with me. Did you say if the line is the whole, then this is part of the whole? The whole has been divided into six equal parts. So in front of you, you can see that while the line is the same whole, we have split those lines into a different amount of equal parts. This time, I have got 16 cakes in front of you. Can you see them on your screen? If 16 cakes is the whole, then one group of eight is part of the whole. The whole is being divided into two equal parts. This time I still have 16 cakes. The whole is the same. Let's try the stem sentence together. If 16 cakes is the whole, then one group of four is part of the whole. The whole is being divided into four equal parts. This time, I still have 16 cakes. So if 16 cakes is the whole, then two is part of the whole. The whole has been divided into eight equal parts. This time, I would like you to pause the video I would like you to read the stem sentence to yourself first, filling in the missing parts, and then play the video, and then we'll try and say it together. Did you say, if 16 cakes is the whole, then one is part of the whole? The whole has been divided into 16 equal parts. Here you can see how on each of our sets of cakes, each set had 16 cakes in them, but we have divided them equally into groups. In our last lesson, we looked at a whole class and how we could group children into equal parts by having the same amount of children in each group. So for this one, I've got my whole class, which is 15 children. How many children can you see in each part? That's right, there are three children in each part. So let's try the stem sentence together. If 15 children is the whole, then one group of three children is part of the whole. The group has been split into five equal parts. This time I need your help. I still have the same whole. There are 15 children in the class. I wonder if you can pause the video and see how the children have been divided equally. You should use the stem sentence on this screen. Did you say if 15 children is the whole, then one team of five children is part of the whole. The whole has been divided into three equal parts. Here we can see both of those questions side by side. On the left hand side of the screen, you can see that the whole is 15. And on the right side of the screen, you can see that the whole is 15 children. But on the left side of the screen, 
you can see that there are three children in each part. And on the right side of the screen, you can see that there are five children in each part. Have one more go at reading the stem sentence for each of those pictures. You're getting really good at this. Now, to prepare for the next lesson, I would like you to collect in 10 objects to bring with you for your next teacher's lesson. Uh, Mrs. Bunce will ask you to split 10 objects into as many equal parts as you can. You could use counters, blocks, pencils, Lego, anything that's safe and that you have lying around. You might want to practice using the stem sentence on the page as well. I know you'll have lots of fun. Thank you for listening today. Enjoy.